Hey there, I'm Dr. Angie, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you information about the leptospirosis vaccine so you can decide if you wanna give it to your dog. Now, leptospirosis is a disease that's caused by a spirochete, which is like a bacteria. We don't see it very often here in Boulder, and usually when we do, we see outbreaks in the fall. It's transmitted by the urine of other animals, including other dogs, um, raccoons, um, and fox. Those would be the primary um, carriers. What happens is the raccoon or fox um, has infected urine, um, they pee in your yard, or more importantly, I think they pee in water bowls, especially raccoons, um, and then your dog either sniffs along um, the ground um, or uh, drinks the water and becomes infected with leptospirosis. Now leptospirosis can be treated with antibiotics, but it makes dogs very, very, very sick um, in the meantime. It doesn't seem to make all dogs sick, which is interesting, um, but most dogs get very sick um, and require hospitalization for days because what happens, um, they go into liver and kidney failure. So it gets really scary um, for a while. The vaccine we have only lasts for a year, and we actually do have good data to support that we need to do this vaccine every year. And the reason why some vaccines last longer is because they are um, to protect against viruses. And so our body makes different, and our dog's bodies, make different types of immunity um, to bacteria versus viruses. And so that's why this one we have to give every year. Now, the vaccine only covers about half the serum of ours or strains. So it's possible to give this vaccine to your dog and for your dog to still get leptospirosis. Um, it also historically has had a higher side effect um, profile compared with other vaccines. I think it tends to make dogs um, hurt more at the injection site and feel crummy for a few days. So if you're trying to decide if you wanna give it, I think one thing to look at is um, if your dog got leptospirosis, would you have the funds to get them through? Um, do you have pet insurance? Um, do you have some savings you could dip into? Um, because it can be quite expensive. Um, think like five, $10,000, depending on how sick uh, your dog becomes. And then if you're trying to um, think about really only giving the vaccines that are 100% necessary, this one might not make the list. We don't consider it a core vaccine. I have a very itchy allergic dog myself. I don't vaccinate him for lepto. I also make sure whenever possible that I don't have standing water in my yard. I really work hard to deter um, raccoons and I don't leave a water bowl outside. And so that's what I do. Um, and I also know that if he were to get leptospirosis, he's going to get quite sick. Um, but for me and my decision-making process, um, that is what I do. Now, we carry leptospirosis vaccines at Boulder Holistic Vet. We're happy to help you. And if you want to discuss more, give me a call, 720-503-6646, or you can email me at angie at boulderholisticvet.com, and I will see you soon.